Hello viewers, good morning everybody and welcome to this lecture series by Sandhan in English literature. I myself, uh, I mean I would like to introduce myself first and uh, my colleague Dr. Sulba. Uh, first of all let me introduce myself. I am Arvind Kumar B. Trivedi teaching at present in uh, Sri and Srimati P. K. Kotawala Arts College Patan in the Department of English since 1979. I am associate professor over there. The uh, areas of interest so far as uh, the literature is concerned, I am interested in li American literature, Indo-English literature and uh, especially in the ELT, English language teaching. No? Uh, my colleague sitting with me is uh, Dr. Sulbha Deshpande. Uh, sorry, she is Devpurkar. Mm -hmm. She is teaching English at uh, Porbandar Arts College. Uh, arts and Commerce. Uh, it is Arts and Commerce College. Her uh, subject is also English. She has done her PhD from Saurashtra University. Saurashtra. And uh, she is highly interested in children education, I mean literature. Uh, literature. Yes. And she herself is writing also on uh, children literature. She at present she, she has recently completed a project under the minor research project. Uh, I would request her to give some idea about her project first. Uh, and then we shall talk about the short story as a literary form. Yes, yes uh, Bavel, please. I think uh, my subject is also relevant to some extent because children's <coughs> stories, uh, my subject is children's fiction in India. So uh, children's stories, uh, that makes a beginning so far as short story is concerned because earlier examples we have in Panchatantra and Aesop's fables. So they are also children's stories. Now we call them children's stories, but earlier there was no such discrimination. Uh, people uh, used to relish uh, stories as they were maybe uh, Decimron or whatever uh, stories were available, folk tales uh, that are always uh, enjoyed by people. And earlier there was no such discrimination. Uh, now we uh, have this kind of attitude that these are the stories meant for children, these are the stories meant for adult readers. So I would like to uh, include my knowledge about uh, children's fiction uh, in this session also. So thank you uh, Professor Trivedi for introducing me and uh, shall we proceed with the discussion of uh, short story as a literary form. Certainly, madam. Yes. So, uh, uh, here uh, we have some uh, definitions before us because we usually we start with some yeah. definitions. So Before we start, I would like to say that uh, short story is the oldest form of literature. Perhaps uh, there is not a single person sitting here before me in the classrooms or anywhere else, no? Yes. Uh, who has not been, who has not endured this literary form. Yes. No, everybody has an experience of a short story, no? mm -hmm. either as a listener or as a, a narrator. Because uh, storytelling is a very, very ancient, very old art. No? Our grandparents and great-grandparents were masters of storytelling arts. And uh, even in the days of maturity, people remember certain uh, very good short stories, stories uh, revealed by their grandparents or elders. Uh, our literature itself has a, no, a very good leg legacy of short stories, Katha Sarit Sagar and Hitopadesh and, and Panchatantra. And so yes. short story is not a new thing as such for us. Uh, Yes. And therefore, the first slide perhaps. Yes, that is Tolstoy that telling time, stories yes. to his grandchildren. You, you see Tolstoy, yes. the great uh, Russian writer, is telling a, a short story to yes, his sir. grandchildren. Uh, certainly, some of you might be remembering or reminded of your grandparents uh, telling your the short stories. But, uh, the, I mean, the short story as such is not a new thing, no? It is a very old form in modern disguise. Uh, but 
because we are students of literature special or english special uh, we are students of literature it would be necessary for us to look at some of the definitions especially with the 19th century when it became very popular the need to define the short story uh, it came up and uh, here are some definitions of the short story the easiest yes students might love perhaps no the easiest definition is given by r j rees uh, in his introduction yeah. to english literature for foreign students r j rees says you know, what is a short story no he says it is it is a story which is short it's a lemens definition okay. anybody can understand that when we are talking of a short story it is a story which is short sure. but a student of literature must know something more no because ultimately it is a literary form and uh, therefore efforts have been made to define it properly okay. before you there is a definition by advanced learners dictionary okay. no uh, it says that a story usually about imaginary characters and events that is short enough to be read from beginning to end without stopping uh this dictionary lays stress to one sitting i mean the story should be short enough to be completed in one sitting no uh, yes and the next definition we have concise. is from concise oxford dictionary of literary terms literary terms are also defined uh for example there are there is a literary dictionary by m h abrams dictionary of literary terms here is concise oxford dictionary of literary terms defining the short story as a fictional prose tale of no specific length but too short to be published as a volume of its own as novellas sometimes and novels usually are what does the definition say no a short story is an it's a fictional prose tale first thing is that it has to be in prose second thing is it is fictional imaginative invented fictional tale of no specific length how long a short story should be no there is no exact answer a short story may run two for two pages may run for 20 pages a short story like d h lawrence's mau runs for about 100 pages no so uh, of no specific length but it should be too short to be published as a volume of its own as novellas sometimes and novels usually are what what is the the definition mean to say the it says that the short story should not be fragmented no into volumes no it should not run too long no because it will sustain the interest of the reader it will capture the interest of the reader and arrest the attention of the reader to the extent that he would like to finish it in one sitting if possible huh uh second thing the longman dictionary perhaps uh, dictionary of literary terms Carl Bakson, in his dictionary of literary terms, gives another definition that it is a prose narrative, briefer than the short novel, more restricted in characters and situations, and usually concerned with a single effect. Here also, the prose narrative is emphasized. It has to be in prose, briefer than the short novel. briefness i'm um, sorry brevity or shortness is emphasized more restricted in characters and situations and usually concerned with a single effect what what does the uh, definition say that, unlike a novel it has a limited number of characters a limited number of episodes no uh, in short it has to be short no uh, shall we go to the next yes, one next yes frank o'connor yeah you can yeah frank o'connor has there is another hmm. definition by frank o'connor that's also a very uh, kind of uh, uh, 
straight forward presentation of the jnana <coughs> storytelling is the nearest thing one can get to the quality of a pure lyric poem it does not deal with the problems it does not have solutions to offer it just takes the human situations i think uh, that's uh, a kind of comment on the area of the writer or the uh, length to which a writer can go so that is a remark also, in general yes, yes it also talks about the singularity a singleness yes, singleness uh, because it has been compared with a poem lyric poem yes uh, as you know lyric poet cannot elaborate his ideas no it's a, just like a spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings no short story certainly is not a spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings it has its own making, making. no yes. the it has its own uh, way of writing no it is not uh, a natural outcome as such but so far as the the length is concerned so far as the compactness is concerned no uh, to my mind i think yes the, it is it is compared to the lyric poetry yes so, as a lyric uh, deals with one single idea singleness of thought yeah. singleness of theme perhaps uh, that is what the definition uh, emphasizes, emphasizes. Yes. and these are some of the characteristics which we put before you you can have a look at it like uh, usually as it is uh, said it is relatively brief so brevity is one of the characteristics <coughs> then it is an independent form you need not have any prior knowledge of something that happened before or something which will follow so it is complete in itself and therefore it is independent from other things then the characters are fewer related to a novel because it cannot compress it cannot encompass in its area many characters and the plot it cannot have a subplot because there is no space for that and as it is independent it doesn't need a supplementary text and the end is the uh, integral to the proceedings uh, these are some of the things which are the required uh, factors elements uh, of the jnana so uh, i think if you are familiar with some of the great uh, short stories which you might have studied in your course or you might have read them uh, uh, you would have realized uh, that short story writing uh, is a different kind of skill and a person uh, knows very well uh, that he wants to re- write a short story and not a novel so it has some kind of uh, requirements and it has some kind of scope before the writer and don't yes. you think that the the basic uh, elements yes in a novel and a short story uh, are almost the same same yes no? the plot is uh, there characters plot is are there here. yes characters are there mm-hmm. action is there yes. uh, writer's point of view is there yes. setting or atmosphere is there yeah. uh, and, and even then it is said that a short story is i mean is not an a, a shortened novel or a novel is not an extended short story sure. both uh, differ widely no especially in the 19th century no when the outcome of periodicals and magazines was in a very large number yes this uh, form became very popular uh, and it needed to be defined and distinguished from the novel yes no? it's like uh, a one day match you can say y- yeah yeah certainly it can a be said like that and, uh, or or more convenient in other words uh, you can say that the novel is presenting before you the whole world if we if we once again go back to the comparison yes. with the poems we yes. can say the novel uh, can be compared to an epic in a yes. way for example goes uh, the joseph andrews has been yes. defined as a prose, uh, epic poem in prose uh, so but a short when, story uh, does yes. not uh, so uh, uh, novel encompasses almost all the things the writer is free to write as much as he likes as long as he likes he may include as many episodes as he likes, likes. no according to his scheme his plan uh, 
characters also can be many uh, as somebody said for dickens's character here is gorse plenty for example yes. but in 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 a, in a short story the writer is not free to do this yes he has to uh, fix up his goal no he has to particularly uh, decide what he wants to convey through his short story no and therefore short story writer has a limited scope he has to select not whole life but a slice of life in other words i can say in order to test a fruit no you need not test the whole of you need not eat the whole of the fruit no a slice is enough uh, similarly the message sent by a novel message sent by a short story may be the same but the treatment differs no um who has nicely said no edgar allan poe is one of the eminent uh, writers short of short story. story and he has very nicely described uh, what is the making of a short story what happens no when a writer writes a short story or before he writes a short story uh, he says that a skillful literary artist has constructed a tale if wise he has not fashioned his thoughts to accommodate his incidents but having conceived with deliberate care a certain unique or single effect to be wrought out a certain unique or single effect to be wrought out he the writer then invents such incidents he then combines such events as may best help him in establishing his preconceived effect very often it happens in a novel writing the writers afterwards confess that i did not want to write such a long novel i did not want to convey this in short stories this does not happen the writer preconceives pre plans no what he wants to convey his message his idea uh, whatever whatever he wants to convey no he has to decide and that's why uh, as the slide shows like a pearl yes the beauty of a short story is perfect small refined and polished, polished. yes no though it's small no it is perfect refined and polished the short story writer's work is uh that of a very skillful artist he has to take care that not a word more is written not an extra character is added to the story no he has in his mind his goal his target his aim or his message or theme whatever he wants to convey through the short story if i it would not be out of place if i give example from one of these short stories no uh tagore one of the eminent short story writers and a novelist a respectable uh novelist who also wrote short stories in his short story a wrong man in workers paradise he perhaps wants to convey us the significance of art in this world of industry factories and uh, industrial growth he nicely presents before us a character of a painter an artist who has done nothing in the in his life and ultimately when he dies is sent to the workers paradise the last line you know of this story beautifully describes how tagore conveys the message of significance of art in this uh, world of commerce and industries no uh, the artist because he is an artist he becomes hindrance yes. in the workers paradise the production suffers yes. a lot young people also uh, are spoiled in yes. the in the terms of the uh, the uh, managers of the paradise and the artist is asked to leave the paradise yes. it was by the mistake of uh, aerial messenger or the angel he was placed in a wrong place in a wrong place 
the elders of the paradise meet together and ask him, this is not the place for you, please go. By, during his stay, he has appealed with his art and a, a, a girl no, who comes there to fetch water. water. In the beginning, she is unaware about her, unaware of her beauty. Very speedily she comes and goes and he presents her a painting on her picture. The art gradually, slowly changes the mind of the girl and it appeals. No? And uh, towards the end of the story, yes. when the painter is leaving the paradise, the girl says, wait, I am coming with, with you. you. Yes. And the elders, no? yeah. they are surprised. They could not understand this yeah. basic yeah. feeling of love. And this, the writer nicely concludes the story saying, because never in the history of worker paradise such a thing had happened that has no purpose and serve no, no meaning. Art, though has no purpose, serves no meaning, but is a, is very uh, appealing yes. and it has a capacity to change a human heart. No? This beautiful message is given by Tagore in a story. You know, for this purpose, he writes right from the beginning, he does yes. it. I no? think Tagore has written many stories which are appealing mm. and he writes uh, for adults and uh, some of his stories are very appealing to children also. So he understands a child's character in a very, very beautiful manner. It is more than a psychoanalysis of a character. His heart is uh, one with a child and so uh, your children, I mean the students, you are familiar with the stories like Kabuliwala, uh, editor, post office, please read them. They are beautiful stories and Tego's understanding of a child is only possible because he could become one with a child. Okay, let us see some of the great uh, writers of uh, uh, literature. We shall begin hmm. with uh, some uh, writers from the uh, Europe. Uh, there is the French writer Maupassa and uh, perhaps you might have studied or read his story, yeah. the diamond necklace somewhere. So Maupassa, uh, I think uh, the French yeah, writer, uh, one of the best known uh, writers. Uh, we shall also see some. Uh, I think the diamond, diamond necklace. They must it, have it needs, studied it needs to be. It needs, it to, needs be to be discussed in a, in a line or two. Two. Yes. Very nicely, Mopasa explains. Yes. That uh, whatever God, I mean, whatever you have, you should be satisfied with. Yes. No? A girl is tempted to borrow a necklace. Yes. No, because she is extraordinarily beautiful and she does not have ornaments to wear. She is to attend a party, and hmm. she borrows a necklace from her yes. friends and uh, uh, the necklace is lost while coming back from the party. Yes. Poor woman is unable to reveal the mystery that the necklace is lost to her friend who has given the necklace and uh, she buys. Another though, though, though she is unable to, I mean she, she cannot afford to buy such a costly necklace, she buys no? She borrows and, and every, every penny of their saving is yes. in, in invested. A lot of uh, debt is invited no? and uh, a hard life is to be to lived. No? Yes. She it totally changes. Yes. She totally changes. Her voice becomes harsh, manners and become beauty harsh, yes. beauty is lost. And ultimately she meets huh? her friend. friend in a market afterwards. After she returns the necklace. Hmm. Uh, and after 20 years, no, she meets her friend in the market and she calls her by name. She has changed to that extent that the friend, bosom friend, fails to recognize her and she says, I am your friend who had borrowed your necklace. No? And that woman says, how, what is your, I mean, how, what are the, what is the cause that you have changed this much? And she says, it is your necklace. It was such a costly necklace. And then she says, then the friend reveals the mystery that it was not a real jewel. It was artificial. It was artificial. Yes. It was fake. <laughs> she, 
she had you know totally sacrificed or wasted 20 years of this precious life, life you no know, a single message you no know, and therefore uh, and there is also a kind of comparison story. between real and artificial yeah. because the life is also the real and then artificial life and the parties and everything yeah, yeah. so uh, people uh, struggle and uh, lose so much for the sake of artificial life yeah. while even the rich people wear artificial jewelry so that is something yeah. which uh, short story convey many this so this story convey many, many messages yes, also yes yes her husband also is given a message meaningful. so yes. her husband yes <laughs> yeah that is the real Next. companion for yeah. her yeah. yes that's the, true so mapasa yeah is perhaps one of the greatest uh, writers of short stories the idea here is Uh, friends the idea here is to give you an example mm. or illustrate a an outstanding short story by as many writers as possible you know? and before we so, go mm. uh, to the next writer and the next short story i would uh, like to bring to you the stevenson's r l stevenson who is also uh, he was talking to his biographer and there he has nicely explained how a short story writer writes what are the techniques and beautifully he says there are three ways and three ways only hmm, of writing a story there are no more ways how many writers there are but only three ways of writing a story he says you may take a plot and fit in the characters you may take a plot you decide that i wish to uh write this kind of story and fix characters into it take a plot no we shall when we talk about edgar allan poe and o henry we shall talk about the plot and character or you can you may take a character and choose incidents you may take a character and choose incidents as it was in necklace for example a character is revealed and through character the writer's message is revealed you may select a character uh, soapy for example in copendian yes. the writer selects a character yes, and plot. gives and makes him pass through certain incidents no? and thereby a story is revealed or lastly you may take a certain atmosphere and get actions and persons to realize it you may take atmosphere two short stories yes. because we are not mentioning so the focus is shifting every time yeah. either it is on the plot or on character or on atmosphere so yeah. that is the way how a writer uh, oh, chooses wait. a subject mm. or anything yeah. uh, we also uh, quickly uh, pass through some uh, um, lists uh these are some of the american writers edgar allan poe as shall we talk about as, poe yes definitely as huh? hawthorne is there henry james is there o henry is also there and i think edgar allan poe is also uh, the pioneer in some of the genres of short story like uh, and detective stories what we call now mystery he, tales he is is a master of creating master. mystery or yes. even revealing yes. without without hiding anything from the readers yes edgar allan poe for example in the pallu and later in the in the in the very early stage of this short story yes the readers are told that the letter is not stolen okay. it is picked up by minister d in the very presence of the lady minister yes no? and the this the interest of the story is sustained through i mean uh, throughout till yes. to the end now when dupin reveals <clears throat> his uh, style of uh, yeah and recovering that, the letter uh, from, detective's character from, also is yeah. uh, i mean dupin, imitated dupin, by this is just yes. like sherlock holmes yes. or mr brown yes. so dupin is also that inspired a, many inspi- uh, many other, other writers, writers, to, writers write. to write such po things. also creates a mystery uh, yes uh, the then and uh, the, the atmosphere for example in the fall of the house of the usher yes no? the gothic atmosphere of the kind the of ghostly s- kind of image and yes. supernatural and and till to the end the mystery is not in a revealed the, right, the reader does not know what comes 
out of the broken wall whether it yes. was the sister's ghost or what it was no i mean towards the end of the story the writer retains sometimes the secret and even when he is not revealing the secret he is interesting when he is revealing the secret yes he is masterly and his next the plot. name is hothron i think you know uh, this writer at least some of the students might be familiar with the title uh, the scarlet letter and uh, he has also given some very good short stories scarlet letter was a very yes, extraordinary novel uh, novel so, and the person has the same insight how, into human nature so his short stories are equally i mean beautifully done Uh, Henry James, uh, you know, he has also done some short stories, and O. Henry is a name specifically related with uh, short stories. Once again, when we, yes. we are talking he, about plot, perhaps. No? Yes, that. Uh, o. Henry is marvelous. Yes, no? marvelous. The, and then we have some this, Russian writers this, also. I mean, uh, would we'll, we'll like we, to. We will have a, a separate sta- a slide on uh-huh, O. Henry. Okay, okay. So we'll be uh, talking mm-hmm. about them, and uh, Tolstoy, the great master, is always there. and the dramatist and writer intan cheko has uh, given some very beautiful short stories the bet is perhaps the, the best darling known. yes no. so he Chekhov has a kind of sense who, of humor cheko is the person who creates a character yes and uh, frames the character into situations yes no? yes and, and uh, tolstoy of course uh, you cannot even include uh, some of his best stories because he was such a voluminous writer such a great writer if you can include one story then you are omitting so many other stories but i have taken some stories which are uh, fit for children's reading also so ivan the fool uh, that is a story uh, and perhaps you will like to know that Two it is days. translated by <coughs> gandhi ji into gujarati also he liked it very much and then two deer and so many such two, two stories two deer is, is really <laughs> yes, excellent one yes. no? a wonderful they, sense of the humor the king of yes. munako yeah a very he, small because, yes. tiny kingdom very very yes he, he was a kinglet king yeah, he is using the word kinglet, <laughs> kinglet no? yes. yes he he cannot punish a criminal who has yes. he has killed someone but the wisdom yeah. of it uh, uh, is highlighted yeah. yes and and the uh, the humor also yes very very uh, very lightly he has satire and humor a both. very nice uh, way of uh, dealing with a serious yeah, thing in a very light manner the king has to give him a pension yes. actually pension is given for a uh, loyal and uh, honest <laughs> yes, or sincere service but, uh, to the nation here a criminal is getting is, pension No, and, and at still his they, at, yes, at they, his conditions i will mm-hmm. leave your kingdom provided that yes. you give me a pension no and uh, in the end he writes every month he comes draws his pension of uh, money comes to monaco plays sometimes wins sometimes, sometimes loses wins. and uh, this is how the world goes on the solution is uh, shown yes uh, very fine reflection of the yes. society and yeah. uh, we have some other names before you edgar allan poe apart from that mopasa leo tolstoy anton chekhov thomas hardy henry and d h lawrence now we come to some of the elements of uh, short story writing as we have already said that it is a mirror of life as other forms <coughs> of literature do reflect life short story also uh, mirrors life but uh, it also has these elements like characterization plot setting and it includes the writer's philosophy of life its uh, his view of life and his uh, psychoanalysis of the uh, human nature so these are some of the elements and while you are studying a story uh, you keep in mind that these are the constructive uh, elements of short story uh, these are the Uh, elements which the writer consciously or uh, subconsciously uh, develops in his writing in a very neat manner because uh, in a short story there is no space no scope for any uh, extra word or a sentence uh, one has to be very neat we yes I mean, very we neat talk, when we talk of characterization and we just before a few minutes i told you the three ways of writing a short story Mm. Uh, characterization you select a character and put him into different kind of uh, situations yes 
for your uh, convenience we are also uh, uh, throwing them together sometimes and uh, we are putting them uh, under some banner of a nation so hardy dickens uh, catherine mansfield and d h lawrence these are the characters who i mean these <coughs> are the writers who belong to england you like to explain what character yes. is what so what yes yeah uh, for example there are certain writers who put characters into situations Yes. the adverse effect of industrialization upon the common artisans you no know, cobblers and carpenters is nicely described through the character of gessler in a short story by golsworthy the title of the short story is quality yes wonderful wonderful no? short story yes gessler brothers yes. no and the way he narrates yes the way he describes no the character in himself conveys many many things though the character doesn't speak a single word against industrialization mm. no gradually the adverse effect of industrialization or rather mass production has been described by golsworthy second is soapy mm. in cop and the anthem or uh, take berman's character o henry, o. henry no yes a struggling artist poor fellow no waits for his masterpiece he says i'll draw a masterpiece no and actually really i mean towards the end when berman sacrifices his life, his life and to the, save the life of uh, john c perhaps yes and uh, uh, there are uh, it is his masterpiece yes how nicely conveys the o henry how nicely conveys that a masterpiece in literature yes. or in art is life enhancing in, no it gives so there life is it when, gives boost uh, to life yes so they look at life uh, from the point of view of very simple innocent people and they also look at life from a very materialistic and very opportunist uh, set of people and uh, uh, in each short story they have explored life from mm. a particular uh, standpoint a particular point of view so that is also an achievement of each writer in some and their cases, sympathy um, is always with yeah. the in some cases the characterization is so powerful yes uh, sherlock holmes for example yes. arthur conan doyle he has been immortalized yes no? such okay. a great character a person who detective. is ultimately yes. seeking truth that is the ultimately the, yes uh, a detective so so is rosemary's mm. character developed in yes. a cup of tea, cup of tea. Not, we, so have, so we are yes. having catherine, catherine mansfield, mansfield. Uh, with us in the doll's house and a cup of tea uh, through the character the writer is presenting psychology of a of a woman Yes, it's Shall also a kind of. The, yes, we can uh, also give a kind of uh, mm, uh, interpretation, uh, which uh, is uh, putting before us two sets of thinking. One is uh, the capitalist idea of life. There is a lot of money and everything, uh, abundance on one side, and there is uh, lack of everything on the other. But uh, what is the psychology of the character uh, who have abundant uh, they lack something they particularly have uh, a kind of feeling of insecurity in them. yeah that is so, the catherine mansfield and mopasa they are masters so far as this thing is concerned she is minute so, observer yes, if really you take her into pieces yes yeah, yes while, if you take her into pieces while describing yeah. rosemary's character yes So it is almost a fragmented uh, yes piece yeah. of life. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Everything is there, but uh, a kind of uh, normal and uh, very innocent uh, way of living is. It is also a an story. artificial I mean, we, way we of life. We discussed it earlier, perhaps. Yes. Uh, Rosemary is an aristocratic girl. Yes. With a very excellent uh, income, perhaps yes. because Even she goes shopping yes. to Even Broadway. Else. Uh, even for shopping she can go to broadway yes. and she has all kinds of friends all kind of artists and all kinds of novelists and all kinds of writers and the writer has very nicely evolved a character and then she she was fond of antics no antique yeah, things yeah they develop kind and of and she uh, has her, her likes and dislikes very clearly, clearly. no when she goes there the the flower dealer he knows that she would not like this so he hides them and she meets miss smith a beggar yes miss smith is other 
end of this society perhaps you no know, opposite end of this society she is too poor to buy a cup of tea and she simply asks her for a cup of tea the title uh, is derived from this and simple Rosemary demand and she wants to be an angel <laughs> and uh, she says that i want to prove her that rich people also have heart and uh, god mothers are not only possible in in uh, poems and novels and she wants mostly i mean the more the main motive is to surprise her friends right. Yes, uh, a wonderful and, story and, and with the, her. And the beautiful, beautiful word, I picked her. Yes, uh, the writer has used. <laughs> so it's her uh, possession. So with with words, uh, sometimes with uh, descriptions, sometimes with physiognomies, the writers present characterization. Yes. No. And they then, are possessive even about that. Yeah. Now we can uh, have a quick look at some of the Indian writers. Uh, uh, our students are familiar with uh, some of these stories. Shall we? Yeah, shall we mm. talk about? Yes. The atmosphere or the setting before yes. we go to the Indian writers. I okay. think okay. Uh, plot and character, and then there was setting or atmosphere. Very often, the writer has to convey what he wants to convey. He would not convey with the help of uh, plot or character. He would convey with the help of setting. No, mm. a very good example is from the. short story by d f lawrence order of chrysanthemums no a collier the the main character is elizabeth bates mm. and uh, her husband is a collier is a drunkard he always comes late and today also he has not come no uh, it is very late time and uh, the children are very worried and she uh, tries to console them the whole atmosphere of uh, this sorrow and the the life in the colliery is nicely presented in the story though the action is not there, not there. nothing much happens uh, but we feel the we atmosphere. feel we feel we yes. feel the the effect is created the writers as as stated earlier the writer decides yes. he conceives what he wants to convey one more story i would explain uh that is from ruskin bond yes. an indian writer who uh, was in he is i think uh, familiar with the uh, uh, places which are in the foothills of the himalayas yeah, so yeah. Uh, they are uh, usually the locations See, if of you have, uh, his stories and novels yes madam and if you have read the <coughs> uh, the short story night train at delhi the night yes. train at delhi uh, very jokingly and very laughingly i used to ask my students my dear friends yes. what is happening in the story what happens in the story yeah nothing happens a, a young boy is traveling in a first class yeah. he is going to his uh, maternal uh, parents house for a grandparents house uh, and, and and on his way the train stops at a very small station uh, deoli yes and uh, it is almost night time he has not perhaps properly looked at the girl there is a basket selling girl and over hero no he falls in love with her and then the nothing happens they don't, they don't express uh, exchange uh, any kind of uh, say uh, messages yes. they don't confess nothing happens and though the story has a capturing interest yes when i used to ask my students what is happening in the story they say sir we don't know what is happening in the story but actually okay the writer yeah, is the time is running out so yeah, shall we yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, conclude we shall yeah talk about some of the indian writers uh, there is rk narayan then we have tagore uh, i think kabuliwala and hungry stones are also uh, to his, be mentioned yes this. very uh, great <sighs> stories uh, rk narayan uh, mulkaraj anand is also there though we haven't included his picture then there are some new writers i mean Uh, relatively new writers shashi dash pande has given a collection of short stories intrusion and other stories then uh, anita desai has mm -hmm. also written short stories so uh, we is uh, a vast yeah, sea eh? vast actually sea. literature is yes. a very vast sea and the more you dive the more pearls you would find fine no? yes yeah uh, Therefore, so, in a limited time, it is very difficult to, to include uh, everything. Talk about the story form and talk about the various techniques and, and various, various writers. writers. We have tried to cover as many things as possible. As possible. And yes. uh, we are giving some list of books also. 
for your for the reading uh, so these are the books which you can refer to while you are studying uh, short story as a form and uh, they will be very much useful to you this is an introduction to the study of literature by hudson then mm -hmm. we have another such book for, by r j rees you can yeah. also take down the titles uh, they are both available Macmillan. by macmillan and then we have the outline history of english literature again by hudson and a background study uh, to the study of english literature so uh, thank you friends we have besides discussed this, uh, yes uh, uh, besides this you you can refer to uh, oxford companion english literature encyclopedia of english literature yes and uh, many such books which would give you uh, information about this valuable form Yes I think uh, this lecture has uh, been I mean useful to the students and uh, we have talked about short story as a literary form as a genre uh, so we have discussed some of the at least we have given a list of some of the great writers of the world and mm -hmm. we have at least pointed out some of the indian writers who have also practiced this form and they are uh, perhaps a part of your syllabi somewhere or you might be taking it up for your reading for pleasure so nice talking to you friends thank you very much thank hope you hope you have enjoyed trivedi yes yes thank you